ripple tank. Okay, now, to study the uh, phenomena of waves, uh, we use ripple tank. And there are a few things that you need to know about ripple tank. Uh, it's also a very famous question uh, that uh, come up in your test, school test or exam. This is a ripple tank. Uh, this tank, it has a transparent base or the bottoms. Uh, it's actually, it's a piece of uh, glass, piece of glass. And then we'll fill it with some water. And then um, at the side of the tank, uh, there is a, a sponge. Okay, there's a sponge. And then we have these things we call deeper. Okay, now the deeper, it can be uh, a piece of a wood like this, or it can be a bob, uh, a spherical bob. Okay, this deeper, it can be a spherical bob. Just one thing, and then you have a spherical bob, or two spherical bob. Okay, now if we have a straight wood, okay, then it will produce plane wave. But if you use a bob, then it will produce a circular wave. Eh? Circular wave front. It will produce circular wave front. So it depends on uh, whether you want to produce a plane wave or a circular wave. Eh? So this deeper is to produce a wave. And then we have, uh, we call this eccentric, or it can be a motor, okay, connected to a power supply. Okay, so this is to produce uh, oscillations or vibrations, eh? oscillations or vibrations, and then we have a light source here. Okay, so the lights, the lights move down. Okay, after it moves down, it's refracted by the wave here. Okay, and then it will form uh, the wave front. Okay, the wave front here. Okay, we can see the dark and the bright band. Okay, dark. And the bright band here, it represents the uh, wave fronts. Eh? Wave front. This one is a plane wave front. So therefore, here you can see the plane wave fronts. Okay. Uh, we will discuss how the band, this dark and bright bands, form. That is a very uh, famous question in your exam also. Eh? Okay. How how the dark and uh, dark and the bright bands form on the screen here. Okay. Uh, there's one more thing which is not drawn here is the Stroboscope, uh, okay. In your book, maybe they will give you something like this, and then um, they will put an eye here, okay. And then they say this is stroboscope, okay. Stroboscope. Uh. Uh, the functions of the stroboscope is to freeze the uh, the motions, uh, the motions of the wave front. With the help of the stroboscope, uh, if the frequency of the stroboscope same as the frequency of the wave, eh? frequency of stroboscope, same as the frequency of the wave, then you will, you, you will find that with the help of the stroboscope, eh? the wave front here will be, uh, the, the motions of the wave here will be freeze, eh? and so the wave will look like it's not moving. Okay, how it works uh, is not really important eh? because it takes a uh, very long time to explain that. Okay, but so what you need to know is that the stroboscopes, uh, it can freeze the motions of the wave. It, it's not really a freeze, uh, okay, but it looks like the wave is not moving. The wave is actually still moving, but look like it's not moving. Uh, therefore, that's, that's why we say uh, it freezes the motions of, of the wave, uh, but actually it's not really freeze. Uh, it just looks like it's not moving only. And you, you need to know that uh, the functions of the stroboscope uh, is to freeze Okay, uh, maybe let me write here the functions of the stroboscope. The functions is to freeze. Function is to freeze the motions, the motions of the wave front. Okay. Uh, there are a few more things that you need to know eh, about the this, the ripple tank. For example, what's the functions of the eccentric motor? Eh? This eccentric motor. So what's the functions of the eccentric motor? The function is to produce uh, reciprocations, reciprocating motion, or to, to produce uh, vibrations. Eh? You can say it's to produce vibrations or reciprocating motions. So that is the uh, functions of the eccentric motor. Uh, but this is less important. Eh? Okay, this is less important because uh, usually they won't ask this. Eh? Less important. Okay. 
you know another things that you need you need to know about the uh, ripple tank is the the deeper okay here you write eccentric model but not really the eccentric model right? okay let's let's erase this huh? the deeper the deeper okay so what's the functions of the deeper uh the functions of the deeper is to produce waivers of different shape okay if you want to produce a straight plane wave or straight parallel wave eh, then you can use a horizontal wooden bar but if you use uh if you want to produce circular wave okay then you can use a a ball and rod or, or just now i say is the bobbed okay it's a bob uh, so that is the functions of the deeper okay it's to produce a uh, wave waivers uh, of different shape okay next things that you need to know is about the sponge beach eh? okay just now i told you that uh, the side of this uh, ripple tank eh? okay is surrounded by sponge we call it the sponge beach and uh, the functions of the sponge beach is to prevent reflections of wave eh? because when wave move here and then it will be reflected back we put some sponge here to absorb the energies of the wave eh, to prevent reflections because we don't want to see the reflections here okay if we want to study reflections maybe we will put another reflector here but we don't want the reflections from the uh the site of the tank eh? so we use sponge uh, this is important this is important eh? Okay, it always asks in exam. It's very important. Uh, so you must know uh, the functions of the sponge beach. Eh? But for the eccentric and the deeper, uh, they seldom ask. Okay, uh, this one is also very important. Eh? Formations of the dark and bright band uh, on the screen below the uh, there's a ripple tank. This one, okay, this is a screen. Okay, there's a bright and a dark band here. So how? the dark and uh, bright band is formed so usually the questions sound like this explain how the dark and light uh, i think it's bright not light let me cancel this one again it's bright so the dark and bright bands are formed on the screen usually these questions uh, okay it give you three marks uh. so what what are the points okay first you must tell that the dark and the bright bands form is bright and uh, not light the dark and bright bands form on the screen owing to the refractions of light okay you can see that when the lights move here it's refracted refracted by the uh, water okay so it's due to the refractions of light uh, usually we, you will get one mark for this eh? if you you tell this and then so, so as shown in the figure when the light from the lighthouse passes through the area around the peak or the crest eh? okay so this is called the peak or the crest of the wave uh, it will be converged okay the light is converged yeah? the light is converged and when the light converged then it will produce a bright band the bright band eh? so this is the formations of the bright band and then you must also tell the formations of the uh, dark band why this area is dark that is because at the tr around the trough eh? okay so when the light from the lighthouse passes through the area around the trough of the wave the light is diverged okay the, the light here is diverged and then no light reach this area and therefore you can see a dark band here so when this question is asked uh, first first you must tell that it's caused by refractions and then you explain how the bright band is formed and then you explain how the dark band is formed you will get one mark uh, for this okay usually eh, you get one mark for this and uh, one mark for the explanations of the formations of the bright band and one mark for the formations of the dark band and uh, usually this is uh, this question will come out in essay questions eh? essay questions mark will also be given uh, to the diagrams the drawing of the diagram but uh, in exam you don't need to draw so many lines eh? okay I, I will tell you how many lines to draw later okay there's one question at the back uh at, at the end of this paper at the end of these notes uh, i will show you okay so uh it will come up in essay questions and uh four marks will be given sir okay so you draw the diagrams tell that this is caused by refractions uh, how the bright band is formed and how the dark band is formed to get this four mark